So it's been a minute since I made a Poshmark related video, but I wanted to just kind of show the importance of cross listing your items and not putting all your eggs in one basket. Because as you guys know, I love eBay. I've been doing eBay for a really long time, but I've also been selling on Poshmark for a few years as well. I think I started maybe in 2018 or 2019. So I've been doing it for a while. In this video, I'm going to show you guys some items that sold recently. You know, the average sale price is a little high, so that will probably help you guys, you know, kind of source for Poshmark, especially if you want to cross list on both platforms and the good thing about this video is that if you don't sell on Poshmark you know you can always kind of take some of these same brands take some of this information and apply it to eBay and if you do sell on Poshmark well this video is for you so without further ado let's get into it so first up we got a pair of Adidas football cleats and these are the Addy Zero 12.0s I picked these up from Ross a few months back and I think I spent 20 bucks on these and these sold for $69 I think I picked about five or six pairs in total a few sold on eBay and a couple sold here on Poshmark and these sold for $69 and like I said I picked these up from Ross I don't do a ton of sourcing from Ross anymore but anytime I can find some good cleats they usually do sell them from like 20 to 25 bucks and that's where the, the larger margins are for me um, I used to do a ton of sourcing from Ross and Burlington and places like that and at that time my buy cost would sometimes be a little bit higher I used to spend sometimes 60 bucks on shoes I tried to stay away from doing that now too because the funny thing is I would buy shoes and end up like keeping a pair for myself and I just realized I was just wasting money because after a while I just found myself with a ton of shoes that I was barely ever wearing and it was just a waste of money. So nowadays I kind of stay away from Ross but if you ever do want to source from Ross or places like that try to keep your buy costs as low as possible. Next up we got some cycling shoes and this is a pair of shoes from Peloton. I picked up two of these from the thrift store and both of them were 12 bucks a piece and these sold for $69 as well. They they both sold on Poshmark pretty pretty quickly I think I had a size 10 and a half and an 11 and they both sold for $69 so I was definitely happy about that and these were actually brand new still with the little attachments as well so that was a really good pickup Peloton shoes sell pretty well for me um, I think this is the more of a newer style more more recent style that uh, has came out I sold a ton of Peloton shoes in the past sometimes between 40 and 50 bucks but this one since it's a little more newer uh, newer model and it was actually brand new this one sold for 69 so definitely keep that in mind here we have a pair of keen hiking boots and keen is one of my favorite brands to sell i used to sell this brand all of the time keen cool rei patagonia a ton of those type of brands i used to sell a ton of when i was living in california that's how i became more aware of these type of brands but keen is a really good brand to be on the lookout for um i listed this on ebay and on poshmark it just happened to sell on poshmark faster and this one sold for 60 bucks i took a best offer on this one I believe I was asking 69 at the time but really good condition I did have to clean these up a little bit and that's also something that I try to make sure that I do a little more often I used to be uh, really good at just picking up hiking boots and listing them as is but I realized that the economy is completely different now you can't just throw up a pair of boots that might have some dirt on it and they'll still flip um, that that's the thing I'll take that back they might still flip and still might sell for some money but if you want to maximize your profits you definitely want to clean up those hiking boots and that's what I did with these and I got 60 bucks for it they did take a little bit longer just about two months for these to sell but still a good sale at the end of the day because I picked these up for only eight dollars next we have a pair of Air Max ones and these were actually really dope I actually like these a lot and believe it or not I actually wore these for maybe two or three months before I actually decided to go ahead and list these these were definitely my style a really really clean shoe but they ended up getting a scuff on the toe box and that's what kind of encouraged me to flip them and for that reason they sold for a little bit less than I was originally anticipating if it didn't have that scuff on the front they may have sold for a little bit more um, probably maybe 80 or 90 dollars because these Air Max ones, Air Max ones are just popular period and they do usually sell for a decent amount of profit but that scuff on the front was pretty bad so I did have to keep that in mind in terms of my pricing and I think I was asking 59 and it ended up selling for 50 so at the end of the day I got a chance to you know enjoy the shoe for a little bit and I still made a decent sale. This is a vintage leather briefcase from the brand Hartman and Hartman is one of those brands that I always try to pick up. Um, they don't sell super fast but the margins are usually pretty good on these 
especially if you can get them for a good price. Um, this one just so happened to be leather, but I originally became familiar with Hartman because they have a lot of tweed bags, um, tweed overnight bags, tweed duffels. I even seen some larger tweed carry-ons that sold for a ton of money as well, but Hartman is a really good brand to be on the lookout for. Um, the funny thing with this bag in particular, it didn't have a strap, so I actually had to find a different strap from a different bag just to add on to this to kind of make sure that it would sell for a decent amount of money. And this one took, like I said, it took a little bit longer, maybe about three or four months, but it finally did sell for 50 bucks. And I think I spent five bucks on this bag. So always be on the lookout for bags because there's definitely some money to be made. The next up is one of my favorite brands to sell. And this is a pair of on running shoes. And these shoes were in really, really good condition. It even still had the Nordstrom rack tag on the inside. So um, I didn't have to clean these up too much. And I was hoping to make a little bit more from these, honestly, because on running shoes usually do sell for a little more money. But like I said, a lot of things have changed since I started selling on Poshmark. Uh, when I first started selling on that platform, I would get at least 90, sometimes 100 plus for these types of shoes. But this time around, a few years later, I ended up only getting 70 bucks for these. So still happy about that. I think I spent 15 bucks on these, especially since they were in such good condition. I didn't mind spending a little more money on these, but on running shoes is still a really good brand to be on the lookout for. Here is another pair of shoes that used to sell for a ton of money anytime I would find it. Unfortunately, it doesn't sell for as much as it used to or as fast as it used to, but it is what it is. These pair of Fry sneakers for women, really good condition. I actually picked up like three or four pairs of Fry shoes. Um, the majority of them sold on eBay, but this pair in particular sold for 59 bucks. I was asking 59, so I didn't have to take a best offer on these. And this one took about two to three months before it sold. I believe I spent 10 bucks on these and I also had to clean these up as well, just to make them a little more appealing for buyers. Next up is another really good brand to be on the lookout for. I don't even know how to pronounce it, but this full body backpack was, uh, this one was crazy because when I seen it, I kind of already knew it was going to be worth something because a lot of these type of tactical hunting style stuff, they usually do bring in a decent amount of profit and the thrift store priced it at 15 bucks. So I kind of figured it was going to be worth something. But once I looked up the comps, I definitely was more surprised. I seen a ton of these selling for anywhere between a hundred to as much as 150. And this one was in really good condition. Um, I listed this one for 125 and it ended up selling for 100 But once I seen the offer come in, I just went ahead and I grabbed that one up. But definitely a good brand to be on the lookout for. Anything that you can find that has like, whether it's more like a military style or maybe it's just more hunting related, I definitely want to check those types of stuff out because they, they definitely do keep their value. Next up, we got another pair of football cleats and these sold for $71. I believe I was asking 79 so I took a best offer on these. And I, when I originally picked these up, I think I found these at Burlington for like $25. And I thought these were going to sell for maybe 200 bucks because the comps at the time were really, really high. And I've had these for over six months. And I think the downside to me picking these up was the biggest thing was just the size. The size was really tricky. 12 and a half is definitely not one of the, the better sizes to find in these. But I did hold on to it for a little while because I was hoping to, you know, bring in some decent money from it. But once I got an offer for these that made sense, I just went ahead and accepted it. Next time, I'm not going to be picking up any 12 and a halfs and 13 and a halfs and those types of awkward sizes because they usually do take a lot longer to sell. And the funny thing, is I'm aware of that already like that's something I was well aware of but I just thought with the football cleats and the fact that these were selling for like over 200 bucks at one point I thought I would still just take a chance on it but it is what it is I ended up having to wait like six months for these to sell so definitely learn from my mistake next up we got a pair of Paul Evans dress shoes and these were in really good condition I actually did polish these up just a little bit to make them a little more appealing for buyers um, these sold within about I think I think these took about five months for these to sell a lot longer than I was expecting but it was a good size size 10 it sold for 109 um, I was asking 109 so when that sale came in it was more of a surprise because I didn't have to do any back and forth and like I said I had these on eBay for a while I had them on Poshmark for a decent amount of time and it finally did sell on Poshmark so I'm happy about that and it just goes to show again the importance of cross-listing because I had these for maybe three or four months on eBay by itself. And then when I finally did cross list it to Poshmark, they sold kind of quick. So that's definitely one of the main reasons why I try to cross list items as much as possible. And here we have this pair of Solar Bear boots and I put Doc Martens because a lot of people were using Doc Martens, Solar Bear and the keywords. Drop a comment if you guys know if Solar Bear and Doc Martens are the same, but I just put Solar Bear and Doc Martens in the keywords and the title and it ended up selling really quickly. These sold for 126, I believe I was asking 149 
nine, but like I said, the best offer came in and I just went ahead and took that. And these boots were practically brand new. It was two of these that I found, uh, a brown pair and a black pair. The black pair sold on eBay for 150 and this one sold on Poshmark for 126. So if I just waited a little bit longer, both of them probably would have sold on eBay, but it is what it is. Anytime some decent sales and some decent offers do come in on Poshmark, I usually do go ahead and accept those just to keep the cash flow going and just to, you know, get rid of some of these older inventory. But this was definitely a good brand and my first time finding this one. So be on the lookout for Solar Bear. They look just like Doc Martens. I was thinking that the brands may be related since they look so similar but at the end of the day I'm just glad that it sold for 126 bucks so like I said in the beginning of the video I hope this video helps you guys out I know in terms of reselling around this time of the year business is slow for a lot of people and business has definitely slowed down for me as well but I just wanted to put this out give you guys some inspiration hopefully you guys can come across some of these brands when you're out there at thrift stores or garage sales or however you guys pick up inventory so definitely just keep your spirits high stay motivated keep doing the work and just just, just really just trust the process because as long as you're doing what you're supposed to do everything will fall back into place so if you guys are interested in more Poshmark videos I actually have a whole playlist right here it's a ton of men's clothing women's clothing shoes boots all types of stuff so just deep dive in terms of that playlist and I'll see you guys in the next one peace